was like, yeah, you know, and um, the thing about it is, you know, religious fundamentalism isn't always pretty. Mm -hmm. And the form that it's taken in the present day is the great awakening, mm -hmm. which is a very clever term, right? Because wokeness is, you know, as Tom Holland, he's got a book called Dominion, mm -hmm. um, goes through the history of all these movements has, you know, how they have their roots in Christianity. Wokeness is basically, you know, an Abrahamic offshoot, just like communism is, you know, mm -hmm. um, that is to say, like, you know, the, uh, Winston Churchill had the saying, communism is Christianity with a tomahawk. And um, the the reason for that is it's it's about like total equality and it's militant. Like the, you know, I think we've talked about this, but Christianity was in some ways like the original communism. It, it, and it tore down the Roman empire. You know, a rich man would sooner go through the eye of a needle than get to heaven, that type of stuff, right? It was basically a religion that, you know, allowed slaves to, to, to feel that, you know, they were being oppressed and the Romans were evil with some justification and it tore it down. And by the end of the Roman empire, they were apologizing for their previous lack of Christianity, much as COs today apologize for their previous lack of diversity. The, mm. the fundamental um, basis of what they had done, they were now guilty about the old gods were no longer something that everybody had faith in. And then the whole thing fell apart because it just didn't have that mode of force anymore. Then after a lot of bubbling and trouble after, you know, the dark ages, so you had this Germanization of Christianity where um, memes that were just totally distinct started getting fused together. Like St. Nicholas, if you think about it, that's, you know, Santa Claus and snow is thought of at Christmas time next to the scene from you know the manger in bethlehem and the desert so how is this scene from like the snowy tundra or whatever being fused with a desert scene and the answer is because it's two different folk cultures that came together hmm. okay it is really just two totally different things that are fused hmm. and santa claus and jesus have basically nothing to do with each other they're just two different traditions that have come into the the same thing. And we replicate them next to each other without thinking about it. It's like in, you know, in, in biology, there's so-called horizontal gene transfer, for example, yes, between yes. bacteria where, yeah. you know, you can just copy and paste some DNA, splat it in there and just kind of go, go with it. Right. Yeah. Um, 